Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial series on design pattern. This video is about factory design pattern and I am explaining factory design pattern in detail. And my last video was about singleton design pattern where I have a detailed explanation of singleton design pattern. So if you have not seen that video, please go through it or you can directly subscribe my channel. So you will get a new notification whenever I upload a new video. So let's get started. So factory design pattern is also a creational design pattern like singleton design pattern. So, so I'm going through the introduction first and then I will explain factory design pattern real world example. And then I will explain the class diagram and factory design pattern implementation using Eclipse and advantages and factory design pattern JDK implementation. So let's check the introduction. So factory design pattern is used to efficiently create objects of classes having inheritance relationship. Okay. So whenever we have inheritance relationship, then factory pattern helps us to create different object efficiently. So it means the object creation should not be repeated in multiple places and this responsibility will be given to factory class. So the basic idea behind factory design pattern is to separate the creation logic of different interrelated objects. So factory design pattern is all about creation of object where we give the responsibility to factory class to create the object of interrelated objects. So it provides it provides up the objects and we do not create the object in other places of our project. So that's the basic idea behind factory design pattern. So if we check the real world example, let's say we have a banking system. So bank system have different types of loan for their customer and loan can be personal loan, car loan, study loan, etc. So loan type can increase in future and so we can simplify the creation of loan type object using factory pattern so let's say we have three loan here personal loan car loan study loan so in future we might have any number of loans so in that case to create this hierarchy inheritance hierarchy and then create the object is actually uh, that complex so to simplify it we can use factory design pattern to create all these objects of these classes these subclasses so let's check out the class diagram so in factory design we will have the loan interface and then we will have the personal loan car loan and study loan so so these three are the classes subclasses which extend the loan interface so loan interface will have apply method abstract method and this method will be overridden all in all these all other classes so that is the basic inheritance hierarchy so now we will not be going to create the object in all these classes like personal loan car loan study loan so we will not create any object in this class to use any of such classes. So we will use loan factory class. So in loan factory class, what we will do is we will create a static method which will return us the objects of the class. So let's open the Eclipse and implement it. So let's create a class. So we need to create uh, interface first so let's create loan interface so let's change the package factory okay so so as per our class diagram we will have loan interface where we have apply method public apply 
so let's make it void so now let's create three classes so first we'll create the personal own class so in personal loan will implement loan interface and let's override the method so which is our apply method so just we can use this out here so message from personal loan okay so same way we have to create car loan class oops just change the name okay car loan so here also we have to implement loan interface so let's do that implements loan okay let's override the method so which is our apply method dot print ln message from car loan so we have third implementation class which is study loan so let's create the class should be study loan okay so there you go we have created the class so this is study loan and message form study loan okay so we have created all four basic classes uh, all three classes and interface so let's create the loan factory so to implement factory veteran we have to create a class uh, which is a factory class which will provide us the object of all the all other classes so here we have to create a static method public static so it should return as the loan object so get object okay so here we have to pass a string actually and so we uh, so string will be uh, the type of loan that we are actually um, getting so let's give a loan type so to implement it we need to check for the loan type so if loan type is let's say personal loan so we have to return the personal loan object if it is study loan then we have to return study loan so let's do that loan type dot equals personal loan okay so we have to return new personal loan so same way for other loan type we have to return other object so for car loan we have to return car loan object should be car loan study loan so here we have to return study loan otherwise uh, 
have to return null so let's do a null check here also if loan type equal to null then just return null okay there you go we have implemented the factory class so now to test it just write a test class uh, let's make it loan factory test so let's create a main method here public static void main string s okay so let's create a loan instance for the personal loan first so loan personal loan equal to so we have to get the function from loan factory class loan factory dot get object so it's here just pass personal loan and we can call the apply method to test it so same way we can test the other loans also so we have study loan uh, we have car loan okay so here let's change it to study loan and change it to car loan okay so now we can test it so let's run it yep so message from personal loan okay we are getting same message from different classes so let's see what is the problem okay so we have personal loan from we are getting personal loan message here we are getting study loan and from loan factory we are getting okay uh, I think we have to use this object here and use this object here okay so let's run it okay so we are getting a null pointer exception let's check it out okay so we have uh, here we have a null pointer exception let's check it out okay so here it should be study okay let's run it okay we have to run this this function okay let's run it again okay again we have null pointer exception so let's check it out so we have car loan here okay i think same problem with car loan also we need to change the variable name okay so let's run it now okay so now it is working so in this way we can implement the factory class and then we can get the object from the factory class so if you see we are not getting any of instance of these three a personal loan car loan and study loan in any of implementation classes so we have a factory factor and we have a factory class from that will provide us, uh, us the objects so let's talk about the advantages of factory design pattern so it remove lots lots of object creation logic and make code less coupled yes definitely so as you see as per our implementation uh, we have one factory class that is providing objects for us for all the implementation so right now there are only three personal loan study loan and car loan so let's say we have 50 classes 50 loan types so in that design 
using factory pattern is very helpful we don't have to create multiple object in multiple places so it provide coding to interface approach not implementation yes so we provide the implementation of interface so we um, create the subclasses and those classes extend implements the interface so now in JDK also we have factory implementation like our wrapper classes like integer and float on other wrapper classes have value of method which is a factory implementation also get instance method in number format use factory implementation so there are a lot of uh, scenarios uh, where we can use factory pattern to avoid uh, creation of the object in multiple places. So, uh, so in my next video I will be discussing builder design pattern see you next video bye bye